boss good youtube man it's your boy tjc man we for another video we got another reaction to am hoops this time it is zion williamson ain't happy anymore we're gonna see why zion ain't happy um I don't even know. Has he been playing this season? I'm pretty sure. I think he's back healthy. I'm not sure the Pelicans are doing too good. I'm not sure. I ain't really be keeping up NBA. I've been watching on football. And I'm going to keep it above. But I know AM Hoops said he ain't happy no more. And usually he always be on point. So we finna see what he's talking about. There's an unspoken issue with the New Orleans Pelicans this year. Look at Zion Williamson's face before the season. He always comes in happy and smiling. This year, stone-faced. Why? Because he's tired of the BS as much as anyone. If he doesn't show up and perform, the Pels have indicated they would choose Brandon Ingram over Zion in a trade. Look at the sneaky reports they have leaked to the media. Before they drafted Zion, Nola traded Anthony Davis for the Lakers' young core of B.I., Lonzo, and Josh Hart. But Zion was supposed to be better than everyone. He got hurt before his first game that season, but the Pels treated him like a star. They let him rehab away from the team and fired two coaches for poor performance. Alvin Gentry in 2020, Stan Van Gundy in 2021. Losing was always Tough. someone else's fault. But after four miserable seasons, the honeymoon is over. But why would they give up on a guy who played like prime Shaq last season? Zion dropped 29 he is points a night court, with eight boards and five dimes he on 65% on shooting. That might be better than Shaq. And he did that I against Jokic, Rudy chill. Gobert, Joel Embiid, and the Suns twice. In late December against the Wolves, Zion dropped 43 points in a comeback. But five days later, had a season-ending injury. At the time, they were a contender for the conference finals, but dropped all the way out of the playoffs. What good is an all-timer if he's always injured? But it's That's gotten facts. a lot worse than that. The Pelicans are worried about Zion's character. Whenever he gets injured, the real problem starts. This is a look at how many games he's missed. Zion played just 24 games as a rookie, bounced back to play 61 in his first all-star season but a horrible foot injury kept him out all of 2022. Ooh. that season tension grew behind the scenes zion rehabbed away from the team at the nike campus in oregon when they traded for cj mccollum he didn't even call his new teammate which led to jj reddick calling him out on national television as a detached teammate but zion was Dang, up for JJ? a new contract rumors said he thought about signing with the Knicks. How could a guy the Pelicans treated like a king despite never playing betray them like that? But when Zion did return to the team, a new problem emerged, his weight. Photos went viral of Zion. <laughs> bro, that is crazy though, bro. You gotta get it. Come on, bro. They be a player, bro. He, was, he didn't even come in the league like this. Like, them gumbos was hidden. I'm looking bloated. ESPN said he was around 330 pounds among the heaviest players in NBA history. Is that he even taking rehab like, seriously? What, six, so when he got injured again the next year during an amazing season, their patience ended. Shams yeah, reported bro. the Pels were interested in moving up from 14 to 3 in the draft for Scoot Henderson. But that would mean trading either Brandon Ingram or Zion. Well, that same day, a picture came out of B.I at a finals game with his coach and teammate Herb Jones. Everyone said, that's it, Zion is gone. But <laughs> what did the Pelicans say? Cause that's important. Nothing. What? This was the team that treated him like a superstar from day one. I mean, think about Ja Morant. He's become toxic to some people. Yeah, his name was Giant in trade rumors. Around, the Grizzlies would job, shut man. that down immediately. But it sounds like they prefer B.I. over Zion. During all of his injuries, B.I. took the role of best player and won the locker room. His coach, Willie Green, said, Every night, Ingram's putting us on his shoulders. I firmly believe, and the rest of us believe, B.I. is one of the best players in the NBA. One of the Pels' best young players, Trey Murphy. It's really impressive for a guy like that who's on a max contract. You would think he'd get tired of the losing and just shut it down. Not B.I. He works every single day. They love Brandon Ingram. There's no question who they would choose to keep in a big trade. But what do they think of Zion? 
Everyone loves his upbeat attitude and smile, but what have they actually said? Zion admitted to Gilbert Arenas that it's been really hard to stick with his diet as a 22-year-old millionaire. Then there's <laughs> the like drama brutal. with how, one of his how, girlfriends, how? Mariah Mills. She went on a social media blast exposing how, let's say, focused Zion is on women. <laughs> and that made this sound bite hit a little different. What would you guys say is the best uh, city? Toronto, New York, Dallas. Why Dallas? See? It's like whoever. <laughs> Why Dallas? Why Dallas, bro? Why Dallas, bro? Dallas <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Look, the Mariah Mills stuff is Zion's business. I don't even like to talk about that stuff. It's only relevant if it doesn't look like Zion is 100% focused on his basketball career. And it certainly looks like the Pelicans feel that way. The front office boss, David Griffin, said this before the season. I think there's a lot Zion can do better. I think putting him in the best position to succeed is important. And I think his participation is a big part of that. What? He is basically saying, look, we can tell him what to do all we want, but when he's off on his own, anything can happen. The best players of all time are like a Kobe Bryant or a Michael Jordan. People who are talented and committed to their craft so nothing distracts them. Think about today's best players like Steph Curry, LeBron James. Is it LeBron a coincidence James. they're both married a long time ago with kids? That part of their life is taken care of so they can keep the main thing the main thing. But Zion. I mean, that don't really matter because KD doing just fine. I don't know if it was the public embarrassment of his personal life being on social media or it was the trade rumors or both, but he seems like a different player this year. Yeah, he came into the season looking fit, but we've seen that before. I didn't even make a video about it this time. But what we haven't seen happened before the season. Zion worked out in the Pelicans facility with his teammates all summer. I know that sounds like probably what you should do, but Zion doesn't do that. And look, I still think he looks pretty heavy on the court, but Zion is playing like a beast, dominating in the paint like his all-star season. The Pels are four and two, and just when it looked like they're gonna get passed up by OKC, they make a 22-point comeback win. But what will happen when Zion gets hurt? Will he go off his diet and make rehab more difficult? I mean, let's Maybe hope he doesn't first. that won't even matter. At some point, the Pels have to decide, can they move forward with an injury-prone star? We talked about Jaw earlier. Well, even after Jaw's 25-game suspension, he will have played 100 more games than Zion, drafted the same year. But the most important number is zero. Zion has Z played zero playoff games. What? Ja nah, that's kind of crazy, because I don't really hear that much, like, Zion slander, like I hear a lot of Jaw slander, Luca. You know what I'm saying? But Zion, he made no playoff game. Already played 19. Last year, the Pels were in first place That's, all the way gotta, to January. Up, so if they can stay healthy, man we might finally see Zion in the postseason. That would be amazing and worth <laughs> all the trouble Nola has been through the last four years. There's a chance big games focus Zion even more. And this year is the turning point of his career. Hang on, man, he but got if buttons, the Pels though, bro. don't see a significant change like this a year, ja. it could be the end ja of Zion in New Orleans. But speaking of big trades, James Harden is finally a Clipper. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it's going to be a disaster. All right, man. He's going to go off to another video. Uh, w video, AM Hoops. As always, man, make sure y'all like, come subscribe, turn the like button blue, share with your crew without further ado. I'm out, man. I love y'all.